what? Oh wow, we have a greenhouse. Oh bad, you guys did really well. Did really well. From the pen of Terrence L. Greenbrier. Dear Kaz, I can't tell you what a joy it is to see John Russell back in print. Thank you very much for sending along copies of the new editions. The cover art is really something. I know you said that the Unknown Dimension isn't in the business of printing new material, but this revived interest in my work has brought on a wave of inspiration, resulting in a manuscript that complete, that complete John Russell's journey, which I think you might find intriguing. It is reflective and introspective, without forgetting the excitement and the weirdness that Unknown Dimension readers expect. I hope this might be an exciting new direction for Unknown Dimension to pursue. At the very least, I am grateful that John Russell's adventure didn't come to an end quite when I thought they had. My regards and thanks, Terrence Greenbrier. Like I said, Terrence, you gotta keep doing it, man. Cover copy. It's been almost 20 years since John Russell heard the call. Twice he saved the president's life. He practically forgotten the days of the future of danger and excitement, the days where he mattered. So when that familiar rip of time opens in front of him and his handlers peer out, he doesn't hesitate. Is the president in danger? No. The life you say this time will be your own. Oh boy. Let me go, Terrence. Don't let people get in your way. Accidental human. Oh, a paperback. Nice. How does it do that? Expense. Got some fucked up pictures. But who will believe him? Nobody. Apparently. Oh, no. I'm sure they will eventually. Damn yeah, map. Where we'll do it. Secret door under stairs. June midnight, June fifth. Um, bread preparations are complete. Oh. We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever, and we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. We worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos to find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past. And there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I cried. And she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. That's when she cried too. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that in her arms. In the morning, I woke up and I was finally alone. Strong Pines, Couples Retreat. Booked. I mean, it's booked solid, it means that you got it. Unknown Dimension. Yep, looks like Terrence got his books published again. It's looking sweet. The communication lines are down. Shit on the Russell. John Russell, he saves the president, John Russell. There's a door out there, I couldn't leave. I'm also kind of curious. This is, I'm just a little bit, just a little bit. If I leave a faucet on, if I come back, it'll still be on. But not that curious. I'm concerned it might trigger something. Something unsavory. Alright. 
This is the kitchen. Wasn't that nice? You can open the microwave. Another tape deck player, so there's probably a tape around here. Skims. Working at Crown Burger on Bethel Road. Alright. Crown Burger. Mr. and Mrs. Jonathan Player requests the honor of your presence at the marriage of their daughter, Helen Margaret, to Richard Morris Patrimark. Sunday, the 4th of June, 1995, half past at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, Sunset Lutheran Church in Seaside. Poor man. You have the milk. Oh, I'm spoiled. Some of that ghost milk, Caitlin, that you read about. Congratulations on your position, dear Regional Conservation Director Greenbrier. Having received your formal acceptance letter, I write to congratulate you on your new position as Regional Conservation Director of the State Forestry Service. I wish you luck in your final weeks at Flintlock National Forest, and very much look forward to welcoming you to your new desk in the State Forestry Office at 8 a.m. on May 1st. Signed, Bruce Pendleton. Then. When? May 1st. So maybe they just moved? Could it be as simple as that? Is that where your family is, Caitlin? Could that possibly be where they are? Oh. Book. Got a lot of copies. When's the publishing date on that? I don't know. I don't know how to tell either. Just the garage. Dear Mr. Greenbuyer, first let me say I hope this missive finds you well. Well, it feels like a goddamn miracle that it finds you at all. Do you know how long we've been trying to track you down? We're not. We aren't the feds, the men in black, or any other sort of creeping fascist hobgoblins. In fact, we're on your side. Let me start from the beginning. Unknown Dimension is what you might call a specialist publishing house. We traffic the weird. At the head of its time, the lost but not forgotten by a small but dedicated group of plugged-in bibliophobes. Bibliophobe. Bibliophiles. Plugged in bibliophiles type out there, mass marketing, shunning visionary expression that refuses to be taken on anything but its own terms. 
We've had an unparalleled run since our inception four years ago, unearthing and reviving Christ or zombie-like, timeless works such as N.N. Bestman's Message of the Snake Men, It's Inside Me by Jens Keller, and Emil Krager's off-the-band Venusian Flesh Traders. But ever since we discovered tattered, tattered copies of your accidental series at a church rummage sale in Lawn Branch, New Jersey, we've been trying to track down the author of its, its weird and dark American outsider art. John Russell, mild manner insurance agent by day, reckless history revising sociopath by night, is the twisted peacekeeper that modern suburban, suburban America deserves. It is our mission to bring it back to life. We want your permission to reprint the work since your original publisher, Mercury Books, folded a decade ago. We want to supply a new foreword for the books to appear in brand new editions of The Accidental Savior and The Accidental Pariah to be produced by Unknown Dimension as a limited run and marketed directly to your our, our highest discerning customer base. We look forward to embarking with you and to trusting your work screaming back into the sweating palms of unsuspecting American public. It's about time. Blast off. K-A-Z. Medish Kaczynski. Publisher, Undone Dimension Limited, 6464 Michigan Avenue, New York. Things work out sometimes, Terrence. Yeah, crap. I mean, holy crap, there's like 15 different things going on in terms of like stories that. Sam. My mother and I will be away for a long weekend celebrating our anniversary June 3th through 7th. We will be camping in the gorge, but we will give you a call on the way home. Sorry the kitchen is in still in mid-renovation. Never trust a contractor. $40 on the table to order pizza while we're gone. Be good. I'm bad. Wood. I don't know. I have a feeling that a lot of people won't really... The burger crap. Crown Burger. Ask me about the clown combos. Ask you about nothing. So the lights were on. Someone just bike. Is that a hat? ROTC. I I asked Lonnie what she had to do to get ready to ship out for basic training. She said, not a lot really. You're not allowed to bring anything with you. You have no possessions. No contact with the outside world while you're in basic. You just train hard every day, and then you deploy from there. So, they'll just send her away. To who knows where. The other side of the country. The other side of the world. My mind, like can't process it she's really going to be gone just gone so I have a few things and a few things that I you know, I've, I've been theorizing upon that I've imagined are going down right now in this house. But I don't really like doing that. When I'm enjoying a story is to, oh, I wonder if this is going to happen. That way I can say that I knew it. I was right. I still don't really see the point of it. Well, I can see the point of it, but I disagree with the point of it. And those lights are flashing. Which brings me back to something that I missed earlier which was a note, a uh, message in, I believe it was the, the, I think like her dad's office or the library. And it said that um, they were looking through the electrical, electrical work and that this house is so old that a lot of the wiring is built into the, the house itself. And so they couldn't fix it. I think it's right here. No, it's not. It's over here. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Highly destructive. Little. After discussion with Mr. Greenbar, since there are no current safety concerns, these issues don't be addressed. 
So there you go. We've been pretty cool to see that when Uncle Oscar turned off the lights. Because... I don't know. But there's a secret panel over here somewhere. Yes, grab this panel. Put it back. The Misfits. At Tot's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her, my eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over. I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me and was so close and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just nodded my head and I really hope she could tell. I really hope that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. So, so the game is ends up being a lot of stories going on at once, picking up stuff. So it's kind of, it's almost like, it, it, it sort of reminds me of Analog, a hate story, which is a good thing, because it's one of my favorites of all time. Yeah, okay, so that a while ago. There's just a lot of stuff in here, and then, but it, since it's um figuring out like a story, kind of afterwards, kind of deal, just like an analog. That's what it really kind of. That's what's how it seems familiar to me. Um, but I still don't really know if there's puzzles. I don't know if I'm doing something incredibly wrong. I'm guessing that underneath the stairs area is probably one of the last things that I. I should be doing. Um, that was one of the things I missed was right there, that secret panel, but they just led to another journal segment. There's one right there. Looks like I've been through all of them, except for that one. Yeah, 